morning good evening good night depending on where you are in the world hi welcome to melambaratua so today you and i will be making a chicken roulade with my pepper cream cheese so let's get down to business all right so we're going to make sure that our chicken is nice and dry you don't want frozen chicken place it on a plastic wrap like so with your skin you see the smoother side of your chicken it should be down and then because i don't have um, a meat pounder we're going to be using a rolling pin the longer the plastic wrap the better right and we're just going to close our chicken with that plastic wrap go ahead and gently pound it with your rolling pin okay as soon as your chicken is nice and flat and then just go in with some salt and pepper and season your chicken okay i'm also gonna grab some chicken spice Go ahead and season your chicken as well. Give it good enough seasoning so that you get all the flavors. Right. And then put this in the fridge while we prepare our filling. So I have some oil in my pan right now. And then I'm just going to saute my onions. Well, our chicken is in the fridge. We're just going to go ahead and prepare our filling which will be our creamy spinach. So just quickly saute your onions. Okay, this is our spinach that we'll be using for our filling. A quick way to prepare this, instead of boiling it the old way, just put in your spinach in some boiling water and then after a few minutes, it should be ready to come out and be fried, right? So I'm just going to drain my spinach. So another good thing about doing this to your spinach instead of boiling it is that it keeps its own nutrients so that they don't go away with the water that you used your spinach to boil it with, right? So it keeps your nutrients in there. Now my onions are coming nice and brown, which is what we want. And we're not going to use a lot of spices here. Half a teaspoon of paprika. Going to go in with that. And I'm also going to go in with some barbecue spices as well as some garlic powder, right? Just go ahead and mix your spices with your onions. And also I'm using half an onion here. Alright, just leave your onion to be nice and brown and your spices to also fry in with your onions to get that kick of a flavor okay i'm happy with my onions i'm going to go in and add my spinach All right and just go in and also fry your spinach with your onions I'm going to go in with a teaspoon of some mixed herbs in there. Give it a stir. And season your food with some salt. Alright, now we're going to go in with our peppers. I have some beautiful chopped bell peppers here. Green, red and yellow. So I'm just going to add them into my spinach so that they can also cook down a little bit. Right, in goes your bell peppers and mix that in. Smells lovely. Okay, everything is coming together. I also want a beautiful kick into my spinach. So I'm just going to go in with some frozen chili. Grate that in so that you get that nice, beautiful 
hit or kick and with my second one just to get that nice beautiful kick loving the color just gonna go ahead and add my cream to get that creamy spinach okay i want some bit of thickness so i'm going to go in with some cheese in there as well to give it that lavish creaminess that richness that I love some cheese in there it'll make it nice and thick as well always make sure that you talk to your food guys make sure that you have enough seasoning salt a few minutes in there just let it cook down with that cream so that everything gels now I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my tray so that it can cool down we don't want it hot while we stuff our chicken breast with it because if it's not cooled down, it's going to just pre-cook our chicken and that's not what we want. So just go ahead and spread it and leave it aside to rest and cool down, right? Okay, while our spinach is still resting, let's go ahead and make our cheese pepper sauce. So I have some knobs of butter in here. I'm just going to put that in my pan so that it melts, right? Right, as soon as your butter is nice and melted, go in with a tablespoon of some octopus flour. Just make sure that you don't have any lumps in your mixture. That's nice and beautiful. So I'm just going to go in and add my milk in there. And stir it in. Add more milk depending on how thick you want it to be, also depending on how much you want, right, from the sauce. I'll then go in and put in my cheese. So I'm using cheddar cheese here. I'm going to go in with a little bit of milk. So that I make it a bit looser. Just a teaspoon or a tablespoon at a time. Because we're making a pepper cheese sauce, just going to go in with some pepper. Make sure you get enough pepper so that you get that peppery kick, right? So I'm just going to go in with about a teaspoon and a half. And mix that in. Yes. Yeb, yeb. Taste. Ooh. Mm. No. Okay. Talk. Yep. Okay, everything is nice and chilled, so we're going to go ahead with our filling, right? Grab your beautiful creamy spinach, stuff it, concentrating in the center of your chicken breast.
And then just like when you're tying a candy, you want to make sure that you pour everything inside, right? And go in in a clockwise, anti-clockwise motion. Like so. And then use your wax surface to help you roll everything together. I'll be using another clean fill wrap just for a double secure. Just like we did the first time, just make sure that your seam is at the bottom, right? And then go back in and tuck it in like so. And then roll it in the surface. Then you're going to go in onto your side and just tie that together. Together forever. You can tie your ends and cut out the excess. If you're just a home cook like me and then you're trying to tie this and it's giving you a bit of an issue, no problem. Just go ahead and grab yourself some tape. Grab some tape and then use that to seal your ruler wrap from opening. Alright, just like so. It'll keep it secured. Same thing. Just make sure that it's nice and tight before you start taping it, right? So nice and secured. Just cut that off. Cut that off. That's ready to be poached. Now I'll be poaching for about three to five minutes. Just go ahead and quickly poach it. Okay, ready to come out. Just quickly go in and take them out of the water. Okay, get your ruler in your hot pan. Let it fill at the bottom. All right. You are ready to return. I'm going to go in with some few knobs of butter. Get some fresh thyme in there. Go well with the chicken. Right. And then with that butter, that thyme butter, go ahead and baste your chicken so that you get that evenly golden color throughout your chicken. 
go baste it. Okay, my roulade is ready. Nice and beautiful. Remove it from the pan. Okay, let's go ahead and cut our roulade. Ever so gentle. Okay, just make sure that you clean your plate. Always make sure that your serving plate is clean. Right here, I've blended some basil and salt and pepper with breadcrumbs. So we just go in and sprinkle that on top of your chicken around your plate. So instead of going in with straight salt in here, this will help to season your ruler. Right? Be generous. And then now we can go in with our beautiful cheese pepper sauce. And that, my loving, is my beautiful chicken ruler. It's not so easy to do, but it's a tricky challenge for you guys to learn. And it's so nice to even share with your family, your friends, your loved ones. So give it a try. I know you guys will nail it. I trust you. So yeah, that's my beautiful chicken stuffed with spinach, served with creamy cheesy pepper sauce right don't forget to share that love give my video a big thumbs up subscribe press that notification bell share that beautiful love that i know you guys have i love you see you next week wednesday goodbye my lovely family Mwah.